Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, uh, I am certainly glad to be with you today. I am currently doing a new series on prayer. So because um, my life, um, my spiritual walk with the Lord and, and the greater intimacy began when I actually was forged into prayer, a prayer life. You know, um, prayer is one of the most powerful things um, as a spiritual warfare weapon that we can use in our lives to, to live victorious lives, to live blessed lives and wonderful lives. And so many years ago, you know, we often experience uh, various kinds of trials. So many years ago, when I began to experience different kinds of trials, the Lord, the Holy Spirit began to place in my heart, Cynthia, you really need to start spending time with me in prayer more consistently. So the Holy Spirit uh, placed my heart to do it on a daily basis, spending time, quality time with the Lord in prayer and reading his word and becoming a more closely intimate acquainted with the Lord. And so if we want to begin, if you are a new believer and you want to begin a prayer life and a closer and more intimate relationship with the Lord, this very, very first video is for you. This will be a very good resource for you. So, um, First of all, prayer is simply uh, communication with God. You're having a conversation with the Lord. And of course, it's not just you talking, doing all the talking and making prayer requests, but you are also listening, allowing the Holy Spirit to, to speak to you. Also, prayer. Most often, um, God will speak through his written word about a uh, by still small voice and and as we get into the word of god and you begin to read the word and meditate upon the word god will even speak by the holy spirit through the word the living word and sometimes you're reading a scripture and it just comes alive to you so that is god speaking to you so when we pray, when you pray, there is no one approved posture for prayer. You can do it um, standing, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 22, and Mark 11, 25 are good scripture references. Or you can do it bowing down, Psalms 95, verse 6. You can also do prayer kneeling, 2 Chronicles chapter 6, verse 13. Also Psalms 95, verse 6. Six. Also, you can do prayer falling on your face. Uh, you can reference Numbers chapter 16, verse 22, and Joshua 5, 14. Also, you can do, do prayer uh, just walking around, spreading out your hands. You know, oftentimes I like to just stand, uh, walk around, especially if you're feeling tired. A good thing to do is to just get your Bible, walk around, and you're praying the scriptures. Also, another thing you can do is uh, lift up your hands. Psalms 28, verse 2. And I want to talk about a little bit how prayer is answered. The Bible reveals that prayer is answered in a variety of ways. Sometimes you, you may get an immediate answer to prayer. Um, Isaiah chapter 20, 65, verse 24 references that. Sometimes your prayer request is delayed. Uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 7 uh, is a good reference. Sometimes uh, there are different, your prayer answers are different from your desires. You may not, may not have gotten the what you exactly desired, but God, he answers in, in his own special way. You, we cannot box him in box him in so god sometimes answer uh not exactly in the desire that we wanted him to answer also beyond our expectations god often answers prayers beyond our expectations you will see miraculous things begin to happen now i can say um that when i began to spend my uh 
my time with God in prayer and developing a closer, more intimate relationship. I did it on a daily basis. And even to this day, I still try my best. And, you know, I don't make it a, a legalistic thing, but I do my best to spend time with God on a regular basis in the word, uh, building my relationship with him, allowing God to speak to, uh, to me through the written word, also through the voice of the Holy Spirit by spending time with him. I find my quiet place. I have a special room that I use. So you can find a room that you would love to use and call your prayer room. And you can, um, what I uh, often like to do, I put different things on the wall. It may uh, be specific scriptures or it may be some pictures of my uh, loved ones that I, I want to look at from time to time and pray and intercede on their behalf. Uh, whatever you want to put on your wall or if there's something that you're really going through in life and you really need that scripture to remind you to fully put your trust and reliance on the Lord, you want to get that scripture and post it before your face. And you may want to post it in more than just one place. You want to get that scripture posted in your bathroom on the mirror, on a sticky note, or on the refrigerator. So these are some of the ways that you can be proactive in your prayer line. And, it, and the word of God reminds us to stand strong and to always trust in him, not relying on ourselves or relying on others, but relying fully on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, prayer should be important to us because it definitely was important to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus made prayer a priority. He prayed any time of the day or night. Luke chapter 6, verses 12 through 13 references that. Prayer took priority over eating. Uh, John chapter 4, verse 31 through 32. Prayer took priority over business. John chapter 4, uh, 31 through 32. He taught prayer to his disciples. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. So I want to share a few testimonies, especially when I initially started uh, really spending time with God in prayer. I also, uh, years ago, many, many years ago, I, I started a small group uh, for prayer and for teaching the word in my home. And God began to, um, because I was uh, consistent and because I humbled myself and began to honor God with prayer and spending time in the Word, God began to show me some magnificent things um, through answered prayer. I had a group of ladies that would come and we would meet every, uh, every so often. And I remember uh, the ladies asking me to, to go out to Walmart because there was this particular a woman homeless lady that lived at Walmart in her car in our local community so they were really really concerned about the lady so I agreed to go out to the Walmart and I got with these ladies and we went, went out there to pray and intercede for, for the lady so I began to uh, really pray and intercede for the lady that evening the lady was uh, very suicidal she had been wishing death upon herself. And so I prayed and interceded for, for this lady. And that very same night, someone um, someone provided a place, a hotel for her to, to stay in for the night. And from that day forward, um, there was an open door for, for this lady, this particular lady, to have a place to live. But, but things began to just fall in place simply because we began to obey God, simply because we 
interceded and prayed in this woman's behalf, God began to move powerfully and effectively on behalf of this homeless, homeless woman. So the woman, she, she gained a place to live and, and further down the road, God even opened up the door for her to have her own job and, and to be consistent um, in a more stable lifestyle. So I want you to see the importance of prayer. Also, I want to give another uh, testimony about uh, there was one particular time the ladies asked me to pray, asked to pray for a particular couple. I, I didn't even know the couple, but they lived in another state, but they were simply asking prayer for this couple because the husband and wife, they were, um, their, their marriage was in trouble. They were not even communicating or speaking to one another. So this has been going on for a long period of time, probably for about a month or more. And so I be, we began to pray and intercede for this couple. And, and the most marvelous thing happened the, the next day. Uh, the husband went out or he, he purchased flowers for his wife. And so I'm sure from, from that moment on, things began to turn around in their marriage. And so I was thankful to hear that testimony. And so God began to do so many miraculous things through our prayers. And I remember when I first initially started the uh, prayer group, um, there was, I had put flyers out in my neighborhood. And there was this, one of my neighbors came over to my prayer group and she asked us to pray and intercede for her to get this job that she was believing God for. And so we prayed and we interceded for, for this lady. It was a, I believe it was a state job. And lo and behold, the next few days, she informed us that she got the job. So we were just so excited about what God was doing. So I want you to see the importance of prayer, how it is so important that we not only pray for our loved ones, but we intercede and pray on the behalf of others that are in need. So this is a grand opportunity for you to start your prayer line. Don't delay any further, but begin to get into the word of God, developing your relationship with, you, with him so that you can begin your prayer life because you want to know what does the scripture say? Uh, does this align, this prayer request align, come into alignment with the word of God or the will of God? So that's why it's important that we also get into the word of God, get to know the word, get to know uh, God's attributes, his character. What is God's will? What is God's ways? And we learn all of that by spending time in the word of God and developing our relationship with the Lord and the Holy Spirit will always speak to you those things that you need to know. So be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe and look forward to the uh, next part of my prayer video. Be blessed.